Hi guys! Uh, today we are going to go to Hobby Lobby. We are working on my girl's bedroom and there's a handful of things that I am needing to get decor wise for their room. I'm really on the hunt for a gold mirror. That's one of the things. And then I'm also looking for some cute like garden themed decor for their bedroom. So I thought we would go shopping at Hobby Lobby together today and I thought we would have some fun. So I'm going to take you guys in with me and I just pulled up. So I'm going to get out and we're going. Hobby Lobby I found some really great finds for our girls room and I found this beautiful mirror I'm gonna show you guys I think when I go home today I'll sit down and I want to show you guys what I picked out um, I only found a handful of good things but I don't think I need much so yeah Hobby Lobby was a good uh, a good a good stop yesterday but today I'm with my handsome husband over there look at him look at him <laughs> It's only because I got my hair cut. Okay. He just went and got okay. his hair cut. Um, but we are actually going to go do some work stuff today. We are going to go shoot some product videos for um, one of our businesses that we help with marketing with. And yeah, we're going to head up to the canyon. And I love going up to the canyon. Oh, yeah. It's like beautiful. And it's starting to be spring a little bit now. So. Yeah. Fresh, fresh air. So we're going to head up there and we're going to go get some product photos and video. And I want to have a good, good time. Yeah, I'm actually excited we could just spend some time together today. I know. This is like our, are we classifying this as a date? <laughs> I guess A we work can. date. <laughs> found our first location to shoot you guys look how beautiful this is ah, it's so pretty so we're gonna shoot some video get some uh, photos and my husband's gonna be our first model and then we're gonna switch and then he's gonna we're gonna get some different product product photos but you guys look how pretty and beautiful these mountains are oh, anyway so we're gonna get to work I'll be back but we're gonna take some photos look at him he's ready Oh, I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so what we'll do is so cold. It is so cold up here. Come on, honey. Look how pretty. Oh, you hear the sound of it. Oh, I love that. All right, you ready? Ready. Oh my right, goodness. So pretty. First location is done. Wild hair. Our hands are so frozen. Look how pink they are. <laughs> oh, it's so cold, but we got a lot of good clips, a lot of good product shots. Now we're gonna go head go get out of the car. We're gonna head to another location, get some different types of photos, and son of a gun. Yeah. My ring. Ryan thought he lost his wedding ring. 
Oh, my hands are so swollen, I can't even get it on. <laughs> Mine too, I don't yeah. want to try. Oh, those are frozen. So yesterday we got home probably around four o'clock. We were out all day yesterday getting product shots, product video for other um, businesses that we do. And yeah, it was an all day event, but we ended up picking up our kids. We came home and then we just cleaned. We cleaned till like 8.30. Um, like mopping, dusting dishes, laundry, cleaning our kids' rooms. Like the house was a disaster and it really needed to be cleaned. So we did that all day yesterday. It's probably why my, all of my chairs are still because I was just running my vacuum. But um, yeah, it felt really good to like get the whole house clean last night and then wake up to have like nothing to do this morning besides just take care of the kids. And that was like, a breath of fresh air. I really, me and my husband both were like, oh gosh, we should do that more often. Um, but yes, yeah, so anyways, yesterday we had a handful of products that were delivered that I wanna show you guys. Um, I also wanna show you guys some of the um, home decor that I picked up from Hobby Lobby for my girls' room. I didn't pick up a ton. Um, there wasn't like a lot of things that I was like loving, but I did snag a few things that I think are really gonna complement my girl's bedroom. And then I'm hoping later today, I'm gonna start installing my girl's wallpaper and I'll probably give you guys a little sneak peek of how we start um, doing that. This wallpaper, I have actually not applied before. This is not a peel and stick. This is the type of wallpaper where you have to do the, like apply the adhesive to the wall and then apply the wallpaper so this is gonna be a new one for me. I've never done that before. I've only done peel and stick um, <clears throat> and it works really well. So this is gonna be, uh, yeah, interesting, but uh, hopefully it goes well. But anyways, I wanna uh, kinda of give you guys a little tour of my son's room. I was actually working on, um, I'm kind of doing both of my kids' room at the same time. We ordered my son, we haven't really ordered him like bedroom furniture um, besides like a bed frame that I got from overstock.com. It's this really cute twin size black metal um, kind of farmhouse frame. And I really loved it for his room, but we haven't ordered him like a nightstand or a dresser. Um, we've just had one uh, nice, an old nightstand and an old dresser from like his nursery. <laughs> so my son's room is definitely needing um, a revamp. So I ordered him some furniture from Wayfair. It wasn't supposed to get here till next week, but it actually got a text this morning saying that it was going to be delivered today. So a lot of fun things happening, a lot of different pro projects going on all at the same time. But I want to take you guys to my living room. I want to sit down and I want to show you guys some of the products that I ended up picking up for my girls room and then the target curtains came anyways a bunch of fun goodies so let's go to my living room and I'll show you guys what I got in the mail okay so I think I want to start with the merit package that I got in the mail probably two days ago and I already opened it and started wearing some of the products if you guys watched my get ready with me video before I left for Texas I shared some of I shared basically all of my beauty products I've been wearing and loving lately. I wanna show you guys their flesh bombs. It comes in a box like this. I love the packaging, I love the color. Um, their packaging is just very minimal and it just, yeah, their branding is on point. But I wanna show you guys a few of these colors. So I got two of the cheeky flesh bombs. This is what the packaging looks like and it's super light but the color is, very pigmented. I'm gonna swatch this for you. This is in the color Cheeky. And this one has more of a corally red undertone to it. This would be really great on me like in the summertime when I'm at my tannest. Currently, I have no self tanner on. This is my natural coloring. But when I do get nice and tan, this would be a perfect color for summertime. Um, but what's nice about these is that they blend out super well. So these are really creamy, but they're also really light. They're not heavy at all. And you see how that blends out? It's so, it's so, so nice. So this is in the color Cheeky. Currently, right now, I am wearing the Beverly Hills color. So the Beverly Hills has more of a pink, neutral color to it. This is what that color looks like. And this is how it applies. So I like to apply it with my beauty blender. I'll just take, this is my current one that I use for my cream products. So I just take my beauty blender and then what I do is I swatch. I just kind of 
dab and swipe the top of it. You guys can see the color right there on my beauty blender. And then I just dab and I apply the cream bronzer. And this has been pretty much the only way that, that works for me when I apply cream products. I think I'm still getting used to them, um, to cream products, because before if I apply it to my cheek, it will lift my foundation or my bronzer up. But I found that it really applies well when you do it with a beauty blender. But I love the color. It's so fresh. It's so natural. And it's definitely what I look for when I like to wear makeup because I don't like to wear heavy products. I like my skin to breathe. But I also you know, want my skin to look beautiful and glowy and natural. So this is what the color looks like in the color Beverly Hills. And then this is how it blends out. Like so natural. So the colors look a little dark and pigmented, but they blend so beautifully and so natural. I love it. Thoroughly love it. And then Merit just launched their signature lightweight lipsticks. It comes in a box like this. And I got these in a few different colors because I wanted to try them. This is in the color slip. And look how pretty this is. This is the packaging that it comes in. I love like the burnt orange gold. Very 70s vibes, um, the color tones and everything. But I'm going to swatch this right here for you guys to see. I'm probably going to wear this one today. Currently, I just have a lip liner on. But let me swatch these other ones for you. Got two more. I also got it in the color Cabo, and I also got it in the color Tiger. So this is what Tiger looks like. It's like a really like deep brownish with like a slight red hue to it. And then this is what Tiger looks like. Super close to the Cabo one. This is just a little bit more brown, reddish hues. And then this color is the Cabo, and I thought this would be really pretty. I actually don't have a red lipstick, and I wear red lipstick, you know, like during the summertime, when I'm like nice and tan, I wanna pop a color on my lips. Look how pretty this color is. It's a very coral red, and I thought that would be super fun to wear in the summertime. So, currently, I think I am going to put the slip color on my lips. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So this is in <clears throat> the color slip. But that's what the color looks like. Close, I really like it. It almost matches my lip liner perfectly. So, so then I also picked up their Merit Tinted Lip Oil and I really wanted to give this oil a try. I've heard nothing but great things about their lip oils. And that's super nice. I love that it's not tacky. It feels super lightweight, but very moisturizing. So this is what the lipstick and the lip oil looks like on. Very natural. I love it. Totally love it. So those are, that is the fun that is the fun makeup products from Merit that I got in the mail. I will link them down below in case you guys want to check them out as well. Okay, now we're moving on to the Hobby Lobby items that I picked up. I want to show you guys this really cute green vase that I snagged for my girls' room. I love the reactive glass. This was $17.99, and this is not intended to use with water so this is not something you can like use as a vase with flowers but I think I would probably put a potted plant and like rest it in here but I thought this color was so pretty and so fun for my girls room and I wanted just a little pop of green for their dresser because their wallpaper is full of color so I'm not going too crazy on the other decor for their room I'm gonna try and keep it neutral and light but I, I couldn't help myself I thought this was really cute for my girls room and then it has this really nice detailing of like leaves so I thought this would be a fun decor piece to have for their room okay next I also picked up from Hobby Lobby. This is like a bookshelf and I thought this was really cute because we have this like hanging chair in their room and I they love to read books before we go to bed so I thought it would be a really cute way to like display books in their room with having without having my kids go all the way to the playroom to grab them. I would like to have books just in their room for nighttime. So I found this really cute bookshelf. This is what it looks like. This was $34.99. I really love the detailing of the birds. It's definitely going to tie in with 
their wallpaper. I'm not sure if I love the gray. So I think once I have the wallpaper installed, I'm going to see how this looks. I feel like I may, I'm having a feeling that I'm going to paint this, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold off to see how it looks once the wallpaper is installed. But I thought this was super cute. It comes just with the mounting brackets right here on the back. So all you need is two screws, but I thought this would be a really cute way to display their books in their room. Okay. I want to show you guys the mirror that I found at Hobby Lobby. This was $109. This is from the spring shop and the spring shop was all 40% off. So this mirror cost me about $56 and I really like it. I also really love the size of it as well, but this is what the mirror looks like. I'm going to try and show you guys the detailing of it, but it's just like bronze gold. I love just the slight vintage detailing. It's a 30 by 30 inch mirror. So it's a decent size. It's not too small. It's not too big. Their dresser is quite small. So I think this would be uh, an appropriate size over their dresser, but if this doesn't work out, I think I'm, I may return it, but I have high hopes. I think it's going to look really cute. And then the last decor piece I picked up from, oh, I have one more, but this is, um, I picked up this cute little frame. This is a four by four photo frame. It was $19.99. This was in their table decor section. I thought this would be super cute for my girl's room. Just put a picture of them in here. And yeah, I think they're really going to love it. So I love doing like picture frames and plants on a dresser to create like a vignette. And yeah, I love the cute little flowers. It's gonna go really well with their room. And the last item I picked up from Hobby Lobby is a candle. I picked up two of these. This is my favorite scent from Hobby Lobby. This is in the scent Iridescence and it comes in this beautiful purplish glass jar. And these are $19.99. You can buy them when they're half off, so they're only $10 each. But the scent of this is absolutely amazing if you guys are familiar with bath and body they have a scent called endless weekend that's one of my favorite scents from bath and body works and this smells just like it it's so fresh it's so fresh and also reminds me of like when you walk into a model home and they have that really beautiful scent like this is the candle so i like to burn this when i have guests over honestly i burn it all the time but i especially like to have these on hand when i have when we're having gatherings or like family parties or guests i love to burn this candle it's so beautiful it's so fragrant um and i like that it's not too strong but the scent Oh, the scent is amazing. It also reminds me of like the volcanic candles from Nordstrom. So if you guys are, <clears throat> if you guys do shop at Hobby Lobby and you do want to know a good scent, definitely check out this one. I know a lot of you guys trust my opinion when it comes to candles. Um, so if you do go to Hobby Lobby, check out this candle. It's in the purple uh, glass jar and I think you guys will really, really like it. Okay, so I want to show you this closet organizer that I... Um, talked about in my Target haul video. My son's already been in his Legos this morning. He loves it so much. Um, so before we had this organizer that was like tall and it was plastic um, and it just wasn't practical for his Legos. So I found this organizer from Target. Um, I believe it was... I don't remember the price top of my head, but I'll link it down below. But I did find this organizer and I like it way better than the previous one that we had. Um, so it just comes on this rack and then all of the individual bins just sit on top. So yesterday, part of our cleaning, we went in and we organized all of his Legos by pieces and he loves it. It's way easier to access. It's also much easier to clean up and I like the space saving in the closet and then just right here we just have his laundry basket which isn't this so cute? I actually found this at Home Goods, um, or it was actually TJ Maxx probably I don't know a handful of months ago but it was only $19.99 and I loved this laundry basket for 
for his room. And I like it. it just sits in the closet nicely tucked in the corner. But yeah, so this was for his closet. I don't think anything else is going to be happening in here. Um, you would just have like his clothes and then other storage stuff up top. Anyways, if any of you guys have kids and you have a similar Lego situation like we do, but you could, I mean, you could also do other toys in here as well. You could do like books and blankets and dolls and cars and train tracks, you know, whatever it is. Um, try this out because I like it a lot for the closet and it just, yeah, super easy to put together. My husband and, and my son did it and it maybe took him 10, 15 minutes. But anyways, make sure you guys check that out if you guys have a similar situation with toys. Okay, so that's the closet. Now I want to show you guys his wallpaper. So this wallpaper is super cool. I'm probably going to talk about it again in the uh, in my son's bedroom reveal video, but I installed this wallpaper probably like two or three days ago. And this is from a company called Love Versus Design. I'll flip you guys around. Sundial over there, so don't worry about that. <laughs> but I loved this wallpaper. I thought it was super cool. This is in the ombre. And you guys can kind of see the seam right here but it is so cool. It's so perfect for his room. This is in the um, watercolor ombre, and I just really like it. For his room, I really wanted to kind of incorporate blues and grays and some blacks, just make it very him and very boyish. And um, when we installed the wallpaper, he was like, lo he loved it. He was just like, oh, my room. And so what I like about um, this wallpaper versus the wallpaper that I've used from Home Depot in my living room and in my kid's bathroom, this wallpaper is definitely better quality in terms of the adhesive peel behind the wallpaper. This one was much easier to install with the wallpaper from Home Depot. The adhesive sometimes rips and it gets very difficult to apply the wallpaper to the wall. So anyways, um, this was a lot thicker and um, it was more expensive than Home Depot. So if you're wanting to go for like way more affordable wallpaper, definitely check out Home Depot. If you wanna go for more customized and better quality, definitely check out Love Versus Design. I really like their wallpapers. I'll talk about them more when I do like his bedroom reveal, but anyways, I thought I would just kinda of share with you guys because I'm sure a lot of you guys would love to do your kids' rooms or a room in your home um, and you would love good wallpaper. So I just wanted to share this wallpaper with you so you guys could check it out. But I, what's cool, the coolest thing about them is that you can customize the wallpaper with, they have like over 50 colors where you can cu totally customize, my kids, <laughs> you can totally customize the wallpaper to fit your room design. And that is something that I have not seen anywhere else. So I really liked their uh, selection um, and I will link this exact wallpaper and the colors I chose to create this look down below in the description box. So that's the wallpaper. Um, I want to install these curtains for his room because I think this is going to tie very nicely with his room. So currently right now I have these white curtains from Ikea. These curtains are so solid. I always have these on hand. I never get rid of them because they're just, anyways, I just love them. But as you can tell, the white curtains and the white wall, obviously it's not working, does not look very good. So I'm going to get these new curtains installed and we're going to go from there. I love them totally love them I they do need a good steam they are still pretty crinkled from being folded in the packaging but 
to give you guys a good idea of like this pattern with the wallpaper. I feel like they just complement each other very, very well. So I do have my rod six inches from my ceiling. These are the 95 inch curtains and I do like how they puddle just a little bit on the ground. I like when curtains puddle just the proper amount. So I absolutely love the pattern. It's very flattering, it's very cute for his room. But yeah, I absolutely love the curtains. Um, I'm in my girl's room right now. I wanna show you guys kind of what I got going on. I haven't started decorating. Obviously you can see their bed behind me. It is the cutest bed, hands down. Um, I will link it down below. It was a little pricey. Um, it is a bunkhouse bed for my girls. Um, but I want to show you what it looks like. Um, and then I'm going to take out their rug. And then um, I believe I have to go to the store and get a couple supplies to apply the adhesive. We have to like mix it together with water in a bucket. I don't have one. So anyways, I'm going to give you guys a little tour of my girls' room and show you what I got going on. I have all of the Target and new decor. These flower mirrors aren't going in here. But um, I have a few items that I snagged, I got the buckets, and then look how cute, don't mind their beds. Um, not being made, I gotta fix theirs, wash their comforters. But look how cute this bunkhouse is. It is so cute, I'm a crazy about it. It took, when we first moved in, it took me and my sister about two and a half hours to put it together, which is like, it was a beast, I'm not gonna lie. This was a little tricky to put together, but we did it and my girls absolutely Love it. So I will link this down below, but I'm going to actually roll up this rug. This rug is not staying in here. Um, I'm going to roll it up and then I'm going to, I'm on the hunt for another rug for their room. So yeah. wallpaper is from rebel walls and i have not tried their wallpaper yet so this is going to be a first one for me um they are this is what the brand looks like you guys can see it's called rebel walls they have incredible wall murals like hands down stunning and they are based out of sweden and this is the wallpaper that you have to use with this adhesive so this is the wallpaper paste that it comes with Let's see, so I need a gallon for, I need like a big bucket for the water. And then, 
Oh, I probably just need like a bucket. I wonder if I could use a bowl. Okay, so I need water and it says you just pour this into the water, you mix it, you let it sit for 15 minutes, wait 30 seconds, whisk it again, and then apply the paste on the wall. So it says before you start wallpapering, make sure that your walls are completely smooth, dry, and clean. Apply one thin layer of paste on the wall for one and a half lengths. One and a half, oh, okay per panel. Adding too much glue can cause the links to part once dried. Place the wallpaper links edge to edge without overlapping. Also make sure that there are no gaps. Okay. Uh, let's see what this looks like. Woo. Okay. Well, that is the glue. And then, oh, this is roll two out of three. So how do I know which wall this is for? Roll two out of three. Okay, so this is how big the wallpaper is. So that's roll two. So one, two, three, I think. This is roll one out of three. Okay, so it says for the hanging instructions. So it looks like we trim. Oh, I see. Let's see if I can get this. One. Okay, so it comes with these instructions like this. And so it looks like number one, we trim the base of it on the dotted line. Okay, we apply it and then we need an X-Acto knife. You have to make sure it's level, so I need a level. Okay, we need a level, Let's swipe away the bubbles. Did it come with a... Okay, it did not come with a wall swiper to like smoothen out the bubbles but I do have one from my other wallpaper so I'll probably end up using that and then it says wipe the entire surface with water what repeat the steps cut away the excess at the top and done just like that okay let me see so we're gonna need rollers in a tray a bucket a paintbrush a level, a steel ruler, wallpaper sponge. Okay, well here is what the wallpaper looks like. You guys, look how pretty and beautiful. I love all the colors. It's gonna be so stunning. But I wanna show you guys, I think the best part my girls are really gonna love are the butterflies. And I also have cherry blossoms, like, it's going to be so cute. So what I need to figure out now is which way I start with the murals because this is already cut off, which tells me this is not the right roll. So I'm, I'm, I got to figure this out. I got to figure this out because I don't, there's no way I'm going to mess this up.
Okay, so I think it makes sense. Each panel, I cut each individual panel, um, and then each panel comes numbered. So there's 26 panels total for the room, and I just cut one through 10, and then roll number two, if you guys can see right here. So then this is roll two out of three, and then this is panel 11 out of 26. Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I know it was a lot of products and updating with the house, but I have a lot more prep that I need to get ready for this room and for the wallpaper. So I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to install and prep today. So I think I'm gonna push off installing this wallpaper for next time. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next vlog.